Information on the status of the health of Sir Ellis Clark has been slow in coming since news first broke that he suffered a stroke late Wednesday night. CNC3 News has been told officially that Sir Ellis is at the West Shore Medical Hospital where he is being treated and only close relatives are being allowed to see him. Sir Ellis turns 93 next month. He was the last Governor General of Trinidad and Tobago and the first President of the Republic. He was one of the framers of both the independence and Republican constitutions. Although now a private citizen, Sir Ellis has remained active in public life and is very often called upon to give views on national issues. Earlier this year, he caused some controversial ripples when he issued a public opinion saying businessmen Ishwa Galbaran Singh and Steve Ferguson should be tried here. And in the face of criticisms on his opinion, Sir Ellis made it clear his advice defense counsel fired Hossein and it was a matter of law and not politics. And only last month he told a function organized by the Catholic Commission for Social Justice on the theme of people or land journey to becoming a republic that while there are defects in the constitution, leaders in this country have been responsible and there is a level of trust in the people who hold office. Sir Ellis noted back then that a lot of the criticism leveled at the nation's leaders is deserved and while he admitted to weaknesses in the constitution he felt the nation should be thankful for the leaders that it has. Health Minister Therese Bautiste Cornelis told us that she could not reveal the status of Sir Ellis since for all intents and purposes he is a private citizen. But as far as she knows, Sir Ellis is being treated at West Shore. Aides to Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bissessa could not say whether the Prime Minister had gone to see